Well guys, these last couple days have not been the best for us. As you saw, we hurt something in the transmission on the white MR2. We gotta pull it apart, take a look at that. And the transmission in the router seat is still in the process of being reassembled because we broke it. So that's two sequentials that we broke. Jamie's currently in our driveway pulling the engine out of his Civic because it blew up. And I was gonna take Brent and Hayden for a ride in the NSX. Went to go do a pull in it, drove it home, and on the way back, it starts making a noise and it sounds like it's from the transmission as well which is uh, really crappy. So all three cars that we have sequential transmissions in over here are currently broken. And those things ain't cheap, but you know, it happens. I don't know what the deal with the NSX is because we ran the eight second pass in it and it was fine after that, no issues at all. It literally started making this noise under pretty normal driving conditions. The MR2 I can't be really mad about because it's only broke twice ever since we put it together. It's been a stout transmission. Both times it broke were uh, from our fault, really my fault when I put it together. The first time I didn't uh, lock tight the detent, that came loose and that caused it to fail the first time. And then this time it just shook so hard because I didn't have the slipper on that it started to mess it up somehow there. So both of those were preventable. Uh, the NSX, I'm not sure what happened there. And then the Routacies got like completely destroyed. But yeah, all of our sequentials are currently broke. I would rather get the NSX up and running again just to have it ready to go. We don't want to tear all these things apart and just have parts laying everywhere and all the cars are apart. The MR2 still drives, so we're just going to leave it. And we have everything to fix the Routacies transmission still. So if we need parts from that thing to fix the NSX, we're just going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and just tear into the NSX here and see what happened. This is our first time really working on the car. It has been a perfect car ever since we picked it up, but we're going to be tearing into this thing today, unfortunately. So yeah, not the best couple days, guys, but we'll get them all fixed. Get her out. Yep. Dang, dude. Put a nice little hole in the front of the block there. Yep. That is no bueno. That is unfortunate. Nothing like a good old Honda Civic engine change in the driveway. Yep. <laughs> Pretty easy. Pretty typical. All right, we are getting close to getting the transmission dropped out of this thing. Brent has been helping me out. He's been going ham under there. But uh, <laughs> we got the pan off right here, our catch pan that we made. And it looks like the transmission was leaking a good amount. This is all fluid that came out of it before we did anything. So that's a good amount of fluid. I was worried that maybe it leaked most of its fluid out and it was running too low, but we pulled the drain plug and well over a quart came out of this thing. So there's still a lot of fluid left in the tranny. But if you look down in there, might be hard to see on camera, but there are a good amount of flakes sparkling down there. Oh yeah, check that out. Those are all flakes right there. So that is not a good sign, boys. But we will have this thing dropped out here in a couple minutes and then we'll start ripping into it and see how bad the damage is. You guys have a good time over here. Rolling out. Yes, leave him back as always, bro. Thank you for letting me stay with you. Of course. Thank I mean, you what, you were here for everything. like two months. Yeah, almost two months. But yeah. You're basically you. living in Florida. Yeah. Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. And, of course. Uh, I hopefully we'll see you sometime soonish in Colorado or here. Yeah, we got to make the MR2 vs RX7 happen because <laughs> yep. it didn't go so good yesterday. I'm trying to do the <laughs> loudest thing at night time. Right? <laughs> Especially at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> Most annoying sound there is. But yeah, y'all take it easy. Yep. We'll see y'all later. Hayden's leaving us back to Colorado. Yeah. Oh, good. We'll That's fine. Just leave Lucy yeah. here. I was about to say I'm only going to miss Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy is nah, ready to go. With you. I'm ready to put my trash can back on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, she goes through the trash. Oh, she'll, she'll mess up some trash. Easy. We get McDonald's and she finds it. Taco Bell wrappers, <laughs> half burritos, pizza boxes. We had chips and dip. <laughs> found four completely wiped clean plates on the ground one night. Licked clean, Licked clean polished. polished up. <laughs> I was like, come on. Well, dude. the one time we left the trash bag out here by the pool, came back the next morning, it was ripped across the whole yard. Frickin' dog. Mm. And she might have possibly bit a chicken's tail off. You eat that chicken? Did you attack that chicken? You definitely did, huh? She's attacked a chicken before, so I guarantee you it was her. We'll see you later. Get that car running good. Make the boost control work for you. 
I want to say backflip next time out. It's amazing. <laughs> We're going to go real fast backwards. If you don't put it on the rear bumper, we're going to be disappointed. <laughs> no longer friends. I don't, it's not on the freaking parachute, man. When you bring it back, we need a side-by-side -side wheelie on the back bumper. We'll okay. turn the laser height sensor off. Yes. <laughs> I was about to say, if it goes on the back bumper and it messes up the fuel cell fittings, you get to replace them then. And you I'll fix, fix the fuel cell. Everything, okay. everything else, not that. on us. All right. The oil pan, everything, yeah. whatever. But the fuel, fuel cell, we can fix. Yeah. Not to fit. It's going to mess the whole cell up. I'll put you a have to put a whole it. new cell in it. Worth it. No, worth it. <laughs> That's a deal. I told Brent we could go up with the car, but I guess he just likes working on them low. It's, uh, it's, it's basically on jack stands. We have a lift. It's convenient at the moment for what I'm doing. <laughs> Whatever you say. Whatever I say. That's what I say. All right, we got her out. Time to break this thing down and yeah, see out. if there's anything wrong inside of there. We also wanted to double check, make sure everything else looks okay, like the axles and stuff, and everything seems to be good. The clutch and flywheel seem tight. We also need to have a word with Steli. I don't know what kind of operation they're running over there. Was that Steli or Brandon? It was either Steli or Brandon, <laughs> but they didn't bead roll the end of the intercooler pipe. But I guess bro. it did hold 50 pounds of boost. How do you go from absolute amateur to pro? You got a, an HD yeah, clamp it goes on from one the, side and no bead roll on the other. The vibrant HD clamp what? on the throttle body side, and then it just goes to a bare non-bead rolled coupler on that side. <laughs> Sick. But you can't complain, it never popped off. Yeah, and it did run the eight. Of boost. Yeah, it wasn't too bad to pull out, honestly. No, it wasn't that bad. bad. At all. Easier than working on a regular NSX, that's yeah. for sure. Might as well case swap them all. Well guys, just before we got this uh, case pulled apart, you have to pull this fifth gear off and I just went to grab the socket to break this loose and the second I put it on there, just to make sure it was the right size, I noticed that this nut right here, Oof. completely loose, didn't even break it loose yet. Yes. On to Had the same episode <laughs> of dub is dub. <laughs> That's the same thing that happened when the MR2s came apart, this came loose because we didn't stake the nuts and it doesn't look like... This one has been staked. We didn't put this one together ourselves. Um, but, dude, I think these just need like a lot of Loctite. Yeah. They just need to not come loose like that. That might be... A big punch and a bigger hammer. Cling. <laughs> yeah, get that thing locked in there. But that might be all it is. Hopefully the damage isn't too bad. We still need to pull it apart and inspect everything. But if this just came loose, the car still did drive home okay. And the noise was kind of coming in and out. It wasn't always there. So it could just be stuff starting to come loose but nothing actually let go so we might have got lucky don't know yet we'll pull it apart and check everything and we might just be able to retighten that put it back together call it a day but don't know yet we still have some more to go and we will give you guys an update here in a second guys got her all torn apart here there's a lot of metal in the magnet on this side and we weren't sure from where because there's definitely a good couple chunks here and there and you can see some flakage inside of there all the teeth and everything look great and we are thinking that it has to be a bearing this bearing right here is good the bearings in the case are good and I actually looked down in there it looks like the bearing 
the bottom of the counter shaft is pretty trashed. Actually, I can confirm that it is that bearing. And looking at that, I'm surprised it made it home. So I just got this barrel loose right here. This guy will just pop off like that. We're gonna pull these out right here and show you guys the damage. Get the reverse gear out of the way. Oh, that's all that's all plastic from like the sleeve of it. It looks like that kind of dark gray. And that's all bits of a bearing right there. Oof. Yeah, you can hear it all dropping yeah. off my hands. Here, actually, I don't know where I'm going to set this. I, look, I opened the space over here. Oh, okay. That worked. Come on. Hopefully it didn't hurt the counter shaft, though. That's what I'd be worried about. guy that looks okay which is good all good to go there and this guy is where the damage is at Oof. oh man it just look at fell that bearing. apart that is all the bits it's bad news bad news I got more bad news though oh bearing the bits of bearing ran through the gears so that counter shaft no good, but I mean, screw it. I got the one from the van, Stranny. Yeah. We can reassemble it right now with that one and be fine. Yeah. But look how much it, it ate into that. So that was in there, and the trans going like this, wobbling around, and then bits got into the teeth. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That got beat. Oh. And we still got the MR2 one to look at. Oh man. Oh no. Well. Yeah, that's no bueno. Look at all that. Just that bearing came apart. So I'm guessing what it was. It's hard to say because all every time a trans breaks, that nut seems to always be loose. And I guess it's hard to say for sure if the nut came loose and then broke, or this broke and then, and then the nut and then the nut bumping up on yeah. something knocked it loose. It's, it's hard to say. Probably honest the case. The bait bearing probably went first. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Look I'm at that. betting. Look at all that. Look, because these are, you know, these are meant to roll in there, and look, they're literally ground flat on some oh sides. Oh my gosh! So that bearing got damage oh. is unreal. Oh, that's not. But does that mean the final drive got hurt? Because those teeth didn't look good. This looks okay at least. It's like we... Salt Bay, but Bearing Bay. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, she's screwed. Not terrible. No, not We've terrible. seen worse. Very much so. But it sucks that the counter shaft is all gunked up. I thought it wasn't going to be too bad, just a new bearing and go, but no, that's... Yeah, that's beat. That's done. That is... Look at that chunk. It looks like... It looks like a lip. It looks like a little mouse was chewing on the tooth. Yeah, the lip right here is crazy. No bueno, boys. No. Nope. No bueno. We need everyone to jump on and buy some of those hats and shirts. <laughs> yeah, we still got the MR2 giveaway going. Yeah. We got three trannies to fix. So, do what you will with that information. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And <laughs> we appreciate it. At this point, I'll let you guys know that all that is turning into backup trannies and I'm literally ordering two full sets, actually. So I'm gonna have two complete backup trannies ready to go at all times. That's almost, my plan. I've been slowly working to that point, yeah, but you almost have to. these trains aren't cheap. <laughs> so no. to have three of them already, plus two more backups, and with how much we keep breaking stuff, we got to try to keep up with them. Yeah. Oh, there's half. <laughs> half of it. The other half of it. Right. That's pretty nice. Yep. That bearing is done. Did you show him the carnage on the counter shaft? Yep. Nice. Yeah, she's seen better days. Yeah. I need that new plate, or is that one good? I'll just put a new one on there. The yeah, counter shaft was pushing into it. Yep. Get that guy power washed out, and we might be able to make something happen tonight. Nice. The van is going to have to wait a little longer. <laughs> Give a quick blowy. 
Get her all polished out. <laughs> Give your training a quick blowy. <laughs> this one identifies as a K series. You blew the shaft in my train, so now I gotta give it a blow job. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we reached a stopping point for tonight. We were just about ready to get everything reassembled. We got the case all cleaned out. We have our counter shaft from the Radices transmission in there, and we are still reusing the wave track diff. This was already in the NSX's transmission, and then this is the matching final drive gear to this counter shaft. They were different, so we have to make sure these stay paired together. And when we went to take this gear off of the all-wheel drive diff from the Radice, all of the bolts that came out of there, you can see we only have one right here in and one right there. The others are out. The heads are on the back side. These guys are all right here. The threads on a lot of these guys got messed up while coming out. It is very common on these diff bolts for the threads to come out rough and we just don't want to reuse these. So what we're going to have to do is order some from Honda. We might be able to get some by tomorrow, maybe the next day, unfortunately. But once we get those bolts, we can fully bolt the diff to the uh, final drive gear, and then we can get everything reassembled from there. But unfortunately, we do have to wait for those bolts to come in, and then we can get it back together, hopefully, from there, and get the NSX at least drivable again. So that's going to do it for tonight, and we will pick up on this thing, hopefully tomorrow, get it knocked out, because we are going to need the lift here soon. All right, guys, it is the next day, and I was able to track down some K-Series differential bolts, so we should be good to go, and hopefully get this thing back together today. I was over at Emilio's and he had a stock K-Series differential. I was able to get the bolts out of that guy without damaging them. And then I got everything all bolted together and ready to go on this guy right here. So this is the uh, final drive out of the Radices transmission, this outer gear, along with the WaveTrack LSD that was already in the NSX's transmission. Got that fully bolted together. And then this is the counter shaft that goes along with that final drive gear right there. And now all we need to do is get all of these gears and stuff off of this counter shaft, swapped over to this guy, and then we can start reassembling everything from there. And then hopefully we can get this thing back in the car by tonight. That would be the goal, but we have been crazy busy over here. We have a lot of work to get done on the red MR2 over there. We have the Lamolitz race coming up. We have Cletus and cars coming up. Oh, we got so much going on and it is, it's been hectic. So I've been super busy with this, but we're getting it knocked out while it's been over there wiring and we're about ready to throw the engine and trans back into the giveaway MR2 over there. And something else I wanted to mention is I made a post about the transmission being broke in the NSX and I said, now all of our cars with sequentials are broken and people are starting to say, oh, maybe you should try a different brand. Maybe those transmissions are junk. Maybe you wouldn't be breaking them all the time. Get some professional help, this and that. Uh, every time we've broken one of these, which I think this would be, what, the fourth time now? Fourth or fifth time? And for the record, I did not put the NSX one together. We bought the car like this. But every time the one in the MR2 has broke, it has been over a simple error of either something I did wrong or you know just something coming loose in there that we could have prevented and same with the Routices it came loose and that's what caused that one to break a lot of people didn't think that these transmissions would be able to do what we have made them do they said they are fragile they can't handle the power the MR2 has been a 7.9 at 182 put the car on the back bumper a couple times these things can take some serious power we're also pushing all of our cars like to the limit pretty much especially with the MR2 and we have done so much with that transmission in that car and they work great i love them and it's literally just me putting them together for the most part i'm not a professional i'm learning as i go and each time these come apart i learn more and more so we know we need to get better at keeping those nuts from coming loose we need to make sure we lock tight them stake them and we're just learning all the little ins and outs of doing it and that's why i like doing it myself because every time something breaks we figure it out and we learn from it if these were breaking because they were crappy, I would have stopped using them right away. But these things work really good when they are put together properly. But you have issues here and there. We're, you know, building race cars, stuff breaks. I don't think many people are pushing these things as hard as we are. And like I said, once again, I am not a professional. I should be double checking clearances and stuff like that. There should be a lot more that I'm doing. But I just like to go. I slap it together. I make it work. And hopefully at some point we can have a system to where maybe we got an extra set of hands helping us double check, measure everything, but I got so much going on in my day, it's like if I don't make this thing work by the end of today, it's like, what am I gonna do with all this stuff laying around? Like I gotta get these cars going, we got stuff to do. So it's really just 
me pushing along, making whatever happened, happen. So even this transmission right here, it is not gonna be 100%, but it's gonna work and you guys will see that. I don't know how long it's gonna stay together, but she's gonna rip for a while. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing assembled. All right, boys, moment of truth. Just got everything into the case here. Got our silicone ran. I am ready to put that other half of the case back onto this guy right here. Get the fifth gear on there, get all the accessories on there, get this thing back together and back into the car. Hopefully this sucker works for us, but really no going back from here. Everything spins freely. Everything looks great. I double checked everything. Loctited the bolts that I think need Loctited. We're gonna glue this thing together and we're gonna go right out. All right, she is all back together. Just ran it through the gears. Everything feels good. Feels awesome. Slap this thing back in. It's time. And we'll see how long this one lasts. <laughs> <laughs> It'll last. All right, boys, the NSX is all back together. You ready to fire this thing up? Yep. Put it in gear on the lift real quick, make sure everything's good to go there. And I'm thinking it should be. And if all checks out, we're gonna take it to Wawa. <laughs> and then we're gonna end this video off and hopefully the NSX will be running and driving it once again. Be. So we just got her all topped off with fluids. Everything's back together, like I said. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. You wanna yeah, take go. this thing real quick? Yeah, let's do it. I really hope it works because it's been a long two days tracking stuff right? down, getting this thing together with random parts we had laying around. So super fun to work on, though. I'm hoping this trans holds. Yeah. Oh, I need to get the sensor too for the intake air real quick. All right, now it's done. All right. That is awesome.
<laughs> that is awesome. Going down. All we need is a couple good rips out of this trance. <laughs> Hopefully a lot. It's good now. Yeah, you can't see us. <laughs> yeah, you can put the screen out. Where do you do that? Oh, dang, dog. She made it to the gas station. It's kind of hard to film because it's really dark out and we didn't give it any hard rips yet. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure it's all good. Might give it one little rip on the way back, but I think that'll do for now. Yeah, it's already feeling She's good. back up and going. Yeah. Quick little sequential fix, and now we gotta see what's wrong with the MR2. Yeah, <laughs> move on to that one. on the list. But I think we should be good to go, boys. I'm gonna give it a second. Must have a little air in it or something. No, I think I think it was at one se well it was at one seventy and then I it just that's how far I just brought it when I turned oh, on the and pump. Turned the pump on. I turned the pump on. Ah yeah, so it had to equalize. so quick. 35 what? Miles an hour. Oh yeah. Right to the... Right to the speed. Right, right to the perfect. speed. Perfect. <laughs> Not bad for a quick training job. <laughs> Not bad at all. That was a great drive, honestly. Yep. <laughs> I can kind of build a tranny. <laughs> they would just break every once in a while. And, hey, this part with the course. Part of what we're doing. It was a lot of fun, and he did a good job. Well, boys, that is going to do it for this video. We got the NSX back up and going. I just said, screw it. Spent the last couple days getting that transmission knocked out. I was running around finding parts. Those diff bolts set us back. We would have had it done that night. But if we had those yeah. diff bolts, whatever. But yeah, got her all put back together and uh, she's a ripper now. So we'll see how long that transmission lasts. We just threw it together with parts we had laying around and the plan is to still get a couple ordered for backups and we're still gonna have to tear into the MR2 to see what happened to that one. This noise didn't seem as bad as the NSX's noise. That was pretty screwed up in there and hopefully the MR2's damage isn't as bad but we just won't know until we tear into that one, get it back up and going, fix, break, repeat, baby, and uh, we'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>